And now, The Bonfire with Big J. Okerson and Dan Soder. Just feel good music. It's The Bonfire, Comedy Social Radio, Sirius XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J. Okerson. We have a new show, but not a live show. Sorry to do this one more time, but Hollywood is calling. <laughs> Hollywood's calling. We're doing Bonfire the movie. It's got to be where I got to be. You know, it's funny coming in here. Uh, you know, we usually do live 6 p.m. and 8 p.m. Yeah. We're coming on like the tail end of the busy part of this building. Uh, I do not enjoy no. uh, getting in the elevator with the smell of a thousand lunches. That's hilarious. It is almost like, it's I like mean, a double dare challenge. What the fuck? I mean, they really get through there without looking at people like, what the Christ are you eating? <laughs> Do you just eat squirrel shit on your break? <laughs> Do you just go to the park and fucking eat whatever animal shits on the grass? <laughs> it's all, and it's all people in business casual, like, kind of suits or whatever. It's, yeah, everyone's dressed then, like a jerk off, and then they're. And are, they look at us like we're jerk offs because we're wearing shorts and awesome t shirts. <laughs> Do you guys not realize we're awesome? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You guys had to wear a button down tucked into slacks like a fucking hump. Oh, you guys are just confused because you never dealt with awesome this time of day. Yeah. Oh, you're looking at a grown man in an Andre the Giant shirt at 1 p.m. <laughs> wondering what the fuck's going on. Yeah. We're probably in a uh, similar. Uh, tax brackets. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I like to do with my returns is pay off multiple debts and then nap during the day. <laughs> yeah, people always look at you like you're covered in <laughs> shit whenever you walk in, especially... It's always like that when you come to Sirius, because there's so many finance... There's levels of finance, and then it gets to Sirius Radio, where oh. everyone's been avoiding a real job for their entire lives. Oh, my God, that elevator. Like I'll, I'll remember that smell. It's just like... Yeah. It's a uh, salami and what I don't like is I got in the elevator with a, with a very attractive woman that worked in finance or whatever. And she was looking at me like I was this circus chimp jerking off in the corner because <laughs> I tried smiling at her. And she was like, Ugh. and you're like, all right, lady. Yeah. Just drink your celery soup and shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Just have your health shake while I fantasize about licking your shoulder. <laughs> yeah, I'm into that. So what? I'm into shoulder licks. <laughs> yeah, I want to suck your back. I do not. Uh, I do not get into the businesswoman look. Really? No, oh, dude. There's nothing that gets me nice and plump than thinking about pulling really? up one of those nice, pencil skirts. A nice calf length skirt. Oh, I love it. All conservative, probably naughty under. She has a large, a large bag from Barnes Noble that she carries her L.A. gears in, so yeah. she can put on yeah. socks and L.A. gears over her pantyhose in the rock home, <laughs> so she can go to her Zumba class Ugh. more comfortably. I hate that's that's my least favorite look. The really? walk around in sneakers oh, and your yeah. skirt at the end of the day. How funny would it be if that's my fetish? Make your fucking feet hurt for one more hour till you get home like an adult. <laughs> yeah. Don't fucking strip down now. You're not allowed comfort to the walk to the <laughs> yeah. subway. I want you click clacking all the way yeah. home. Stop living all white trash like your Britney Spears stepsister. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't be business from the ankle up and fucking active from the weight from the ankle down. Britney Spears is my is the benchmark for like my age now. She's who I go to. For what? Just like, I remember being, everything was like, oh, shit, how, countdown to 18. Oh, I remember that. Then I'm... it was like, oh, shit, she's 18. They take a look at that pussy, and then we all did. <sighs> and pussy what did a... not look good. No. Looked you like know what it looked like? Raw a... turkey to me. Yeah, like a real Louisiana getting out of a car puss. I mean, Jesus. It, she, her pussy had blue veins going through it like a giant tit. <laughs> <laughs> like a nail salon tit, like a woman that does nails and her tits are spilling over. Yeah, a very vascular tit. I mean, as a tit fuck guy, that kind of just got me excited. I was going to see, do we have that picture, that pussy picture? Oh, that pussy man. picture is, is really something Hunt else. Hunt it man. down, Lou. It's, uh, it was just so unattractive. It, it also, also, she was like sitting in a chair, so it didn't, it wasn't like a slit. It had that mush up. Yeah. Where it was like split open for you. Producer Lou is like our internet bloodhound. We got to give him a scent. <laughs> Go get. Lou, go find the pussy, Lou. Lou, you hear? <laughs> Remember when Rambo killed the dog? Yeah, yeah. Lou. Oh, yeah. I watched that like three days ago. I watched really? First Blood. You had to go through it. Again. I had to go through it again. And yeah, I just remember that where he goes over the hill. Oh man, I remember being. This was the end for me for Britney Spears. 
Because Lindsay Lohan also. Uh, Lindsay Lohan, I was her still. pussy was gross. Too. Here's the thing. I was still way on board after. Because you knew she was going to have a fucking creepy ginger puss. <laughs> <laughs> but Britney Spears, you were like, oh, that's going to be a nice little oh. slice of heaven. And yeah, you thought it was going to be tan for some reason. It was just, there it is. It's just there it grizzled. Is. I love when they do the Photoshop of her face on porn. Oh, oh, man. Like one lip's covering the other lip. Let's say somebody made a Big Mac real fast. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like someone, you know, when you do a, you know when you do a mouse with your fingers like this? That's what it looks like when you're like, hold on, when you draw eyes on your finger and you're like, uh, ah, look at Paris don't even can feel it. Looks like, just, looks like the Nirvana sign. Yeah. Remember the Nirvana symbol? <laughs> the happy face with yeah. a squiggly mouth. It's just literally like her pussy lip goes right to her ass. Well, one's folded in. Like she's had structural damage. <laughs> like Kate had fucked structural. I took away my left one. <laughs> I put the left one into the right one. It's called a Louisiana knot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that's for when you go camping. You keep your puss high and dry so bears don't get to it. I really like the celebrity vag shots can really ruin Oh, look you, at man. it. You Honestly, if you isolated that, you wouldn't be able to tell it's a vagina. But like it looks like the, it looks like the neck of an old senator. But let's. Uh, I don't believe in busting in kids to the school. <laughs> <laughs> like, is that a congressman from South Carolina? If you ain't got a taste for black licorice, I ain't got a taste for you. Uh, I believe that people can be separate but equal. <laughs> is that his neck? No. It's- Spears' puss. <laughs> she got a turkey. Her pussy was like a turkey neck. Oh, it looks like an old banker being like, oh, I don't believe it. Oh, big tobacco. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking doesn't kill nobody. <laughs> um, now, to go through these things, though. Yeah, by the way, and by if, the way if you're I, just tuning in now. We're talking about Britney Spears' vagina thing. We're bringing back news from 07. I, I'm going to say just to, I, I want to keep the, the fans abreast on this. And I'm with them. I'm going to give them a little bit of a job here. Yeah. Uh, to remember this topic, because when we come back live on Monday, let's call in and start getting some. I'd like to get some outside views on this and so on. But but as far as the celebrity pussy game, um, see, it's not quite as bad. But she was already getting grizzled by that point herself. Yeah. But in the celebrity pussy game, like who had the the ones where you were like, oh, that's what I was hoping for. Oh man, like, that's what I was hoping. Like uh, Paris Hilton shitty video. Gr- like she, she gives a mean beach, but you know, I want to again. It may be my age versus the age she was and is, is that, like, I'm looking for something that a girl like that is probably, it's probably the reason, like, I I can, like, uh, be okay with not fucking Paris Hilton-level girls in my life. Yeah. Is because there she's a, she fucks exactly the way you think she would, like, kind of, like, boring. She gives a good beach, but, like, she's like, it's a lot What's of laying it? there and it's being hot. Rich, yeah. Like, rich, if you want to see... Rich girl blowjob. Right, but you want to see, like... If you see Paris Hilton's sex tape, you're like, oh, is it going to be the kind of sex tape I would make? Like fingers in the butt and nope. some degradation? <laughs> nope. She keeps it real. I've been, I've grown up with a nanny sex tape. Just like throw it in there and let's just get to dinner. Are you done? I want diamonds. But, uh, by the way, Britney Spears at this point in her career, when she showed her puss, she looked like one of the girls that... Um, Liam Neeson doesn't save from Taken. <laughs> it's, it's, it's always his daughter's friend who yeah. gets killed right away. <laughs> yeah, that's what she looked like she was going down that She path. was sold on that yacht in, in record time. Record time. <laughs> gone. Like, by the time Liam got on the boat, she was already helicoptered out to, like... Lisa, Liam Neeson's frumpy daughter's just been dancing for days. They can't move her. They can lower the price. <laughs> They're trying to do a discount thing. I, I, I throw her in for $100,000. Welcome to Omar's Discount Horse. This one we kidnapped from Paris just won't move. Her father is angry, so get her out of country quick. Oh, what is that? Now, who says that, Britney Spears? That's Paris That's Hilton. Pa- oh, see, that doesn't look good. You know what, man? That looks like a Subway meatball sandwich. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I- I'm telling you, well, Quiznos, it looks like it's hot. <laughs> I, uh, like it just came right out, and they're like, you want more cheese? What's the thing you know on the right? You know what, though? It's just her, it looks like, is that her? Is that a drawstring? Like a shoot? Her panties just pulled aside. You know what it is, dude? Good luck finding a really good-looking seated <laughs> pussy. Yeah. It really mushes everything up. And, if, if, and this is in defense of women. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's no guys. A dick shot seated would be oh, terrible. 
My God. One of my my favorite, if a girl uh, tries to blow me while I'm sitting down, it's funny how far I keep inching down and down. Like Eventually, my back's in the seat. My head's just in the back of the car. So I'm just like trying to get as flat as possible, and my legs like uh, I do a as east and west as I can possibly get them. I do a reverse bridge. Where I'm like, go, go, go. Push out. Because then it looks like she's trying to like, uh, it looks like she's bobbing for apples. Like She's like getting down there and just Dude, trying to You ever muscle. have a girl blow you while you're driving? I can't do it. It makes me feel too weird. I did it way, way young, and then it's been offered to me through my life a few times, and I was just like, I can't think now. I, I mean, I was, by the way, heavier when I was younger. Yeah. But for whatever reason, I remember it not being a big deal, or maybe I just didn't have such, like, small dick sadness about myself then. But, like, now, the idea of pulling my dick out while I'm driving, oh. even if it was hard, it would just be so mushed together yeah. or anything that I'd be like, oh, man, are you earthly? She was you know, like a. It would be a real sample sign. She'll have a Chevy sign on the fucking side of her head, <laughs> a belly button uh, suction mark on yeah, the other side, or she's just got uh, seat belt mark on her neck because I want to stay safe while also getting my dick sucked. Leave the seat belt on. It's that's why they give it extra room. Yeah, listen, just pull a little flack if you need it. So let's go. Let's go. Through, who's that over there? That's Lindsay Lohan. Yeah, let's Woo! get Lindsay Lohan up. Uh, oh, she's coughing. Oh, she's coughing too. That's the worst. Her, <laughs> her puss is open because she's coughing. <laughs> you caught the one moment. You had a girl cough while you were fucking before, right? Yeah. It's great. Yeah, it feels great. Like, why can't you give me cough pussy all the time? <laughs> <laughs> you just blowing smoke in her face? <laughs> You're like, <laughs> now hold it. Hold it. Oh. Uh, hold that cough. Um, But in the world of celebrity pussy, like, who's been the letdown? Because there's been a lot. There's been some. Britney Spears is the letdown. She, it's she's the the ultimate. Now, well, you said no for Lindsay Lohan, but all the how about the one where she's in the boat? Oh no, dude, she had bad ones. Lindsay Lohan. She, Lindsay Lohan has some bad, and she's but not. I feel sitting, like even when she's, she's not sitting. But I feel like even when she's bad, she's good. We haven't got a Britney spill. You know, dude, I'm also just not into fucking girls covered in freckles. I think we talked about that before. I love it. I love it. You do right. Like I a Juliana Moore doesn't like you. Fine. think she's, Yeah, I think, I think she's great. It's weird. It's weird to me. Lindsay Lohan is still sexy because there's mileage on it. It's like a cooking pan that has a bunch of grease on it. And she went, like, overnight. She went overnight to being, like, raging. No, I think it was there. No, that fucking Wilmer Valderrama Bomba bucket (laughs) (laughs) fucking plopped in her. Here's a thousand dollars, cash money. He threw a few Yo Mama jokes in there. You guys, welcome back to your mama. I'm the host whose penis has destroyed most women you grew up having a crush on. (laughs) Dude, he... Hello. I'm, I'm a tiny man with a very big penis. I'll tell you the girl who... I want to get this Lindsay Lohan one up, but I'll, I'll tell you the girl who fucking turned me around on giving a shit about her at all. Yeah. And not as an actress. She was, I like, she's fine as an actress, but uh, into being into her was no nude leaked pictures have done more for anybody than fucking Jennifer Lawrence. Really? The fappening that turns you around? I mean, she's got 119 pictures, and I know it's I like that you know that number. I just looked the other day. 119 pictures, and I'm telling you, man, like, she is far hotter body than I ever would. And I've seen her as Mystique and all that shit, and I thought she had a good body, but I was like... I've just never been that into her for whatever reason, and I mean, those pictures, holy, her body is You're telling me Silver Linings Playbook didn't make you at least a little intrigued? I didn't watch that. I can't believe I You're didn't watch. I can't guy. believe I didn't watch it because I know the diner. I know the thing. It's just uh, he's also he's like a sexy version of you. He always wears a. Uh, and he's retarded. Yeah, he's retarded, and he always wears Philly jerseys. He's a retarded, sexy version of me. Yeah, Jay, like, if you had autism and a sick body, <laughs> if I really wanted to dance with you with your shirt off. <laughs> I would say you're Bradley Cooper from. We both have D-Jax jerseys. Yeah, you guys, all you guys both do. See, for me, I uh, see how. I mean, dude, American Hustle. She was so sexy. You didn't think she was sexy at all in that? Uh, yeah, enough. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. She, she wasn't my thing. I get it. Again, I'm kind of like, for whatever reason, I tend to lean towards, uh, like brunette. Me too. You looking girl. I love. I mean, you know my style, brunette with big tits. Yeah, I'm all over it. Like, uh, I'll throw myself into fire for that shit. Oh, there's there's way better. I love if I love if Sirius came in just took all of the hard drives because we're all just looking at naked pictures. <laughs> <laughs> They're like someone accessed the wrong website. They're there. They're Ooh. there. Um, oh, Jacob's over looking at Hope Solo. Oh, Hope Solo. Player. Let me tell you something about Hope Solo. 
Turned you around on her? Oh, man. Well, you, let's, get, a, let's get that picture up because I'll tell you, you know exactly what turned it around for me on this one, buddy. What a nasty girl. You saw what got me on this one. What, Hope Solo? Oh, you know what got me on Hope Solo. Yeah. Dude, I love people coming to the office and we've just got naked celebrity pictures up. Just <laughs> looking to push shots of celebrities. Nothing to see here. <sighs> Nothing to see. Oh, security risk. We got our first one where they're like, you don't want to go to this website or else your computer will be <laughs> riddled with diseases. <laughs> like the warning? Goes, yeah. How much does pussy mean to you? Yeah, does it mean uh, you won't be able to access your email fast? Here Look we go. at that. Look at that. Right in the sheets. What a nice little you, tip. You, Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, reverse oh. crab. Look at that hot muff. I'll tell you this. That's dedication to whoever you're sending that picture to. When you drop like that. Yeah. Oh, oh, man. Oh, it looked like a mine went off. <laughs> Yikes! I goes, is that uh, is that what you call its hand after the Fourth of July? Yeah. Is that, is that John, John Paul? Yeah, Pierre Paul? Is that Pierre Paul's hand? Oh, oh my God! What a World War Two fucking wound! Oh my God! What's happening on that soccer wow, field? Wow! Look at that, dude! It looks like it got mined out. That really does. It looks like like a an operation after they take a deep cyst out. <laughs> <laughs> We've got it. Look, there's gonna be a hole there. We've got it removed. Dude, we had, to remove, we had to remove a lot of tissue. Wow. That is, uh, that's meaty, huh? Wow. I'm okay. I'm in with that, though. Yeah? You go back to the full thing where we get to see her face. It looks I, like an Italian look, dish before the oven. That's a pussy that's got to make me see the whole package. Yikes. Let's get to the wide shot. That makes me think I would uh, not. Can you give me a wide shot on two, please? <laughs> um, the t uh, yeah, no, I, that wouldn't bother me. You know, it's really close. That's fine. That's fine, but it's the same, it's the same... Mangled pussy. Yeah, but up close, man, you're like. Yeah, that's a traveling soccer team, man. She's getting all that foreign fucking donkey dick. Just like oh, real, yeah. like Irish gangbangs. No, like probably fucking, not. Just like Madrid fucking. I imagine it's something even more like Portuguese dick. Like oh, from yeah. Portugal. And they're just like, I, I don't believe in stopping one. Like she has to have like lunch conversation the next day. Like, look, yeah, they all smell. Yeah. But that guy was really hot. And listen, he's got a log. <laughs> as which you'll a see. Peace. When you check your phone and see these pictures, you will realize that <laughs> I got worn out. <laughs> Blizzard. Wow. I mean, that is. Yeah. There we go. Now I'm down with that. Once no, you have everything closed up. Again, yeah. It's like the, it's, it's the angles. It's the, man. It looks like a gator mouth. Uh, like when you open it up, you're like, that is way worse. Am I, am I out of line Whoa! by, by am, I, am I out of line by using the term pussies are very malleable? <laughs> what do you mean? Ma ma like, just like from every, like, Knee movement and different leg position. Yeah, it gives a whole different thing. Yeah, dicks, dicks. You're going to get a lot more consistency. Look how in good the that shot. looks. That, that looks great. Uh, I remember before the explosion. Yeah. <laughs> this is what it looks like before my war wounds. <laughs> After that, I came back a different man. I watched my buddy get blown half to Saigon. <laughs> and then there's the dude that's responsible for it. Is that Hope Solo right there? Yeah, and that's the guy that... Oh, made... you know what, man? Like, she's like... So here's the thing. I didn't really know... I didn't know her very much before. Okay, well, I'm a big uh, women's soccer fan. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't know her much before the, the fappening happened. So with that said, seeing her there, I'd have been like, okay, so her pussy pictures don't change my opinion. I'd go, oh, she's a pretty hot chick. Yeah, then you see him. And no, 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 I think like you'd see him. And I'm, see, I'm... for me, I'm opposite. I see that picture and I go... After the pussy pictures, I see that picture and I see the dude with her and I go... <sighs> That explains it. Wow. <laughs> that man is rolling with something that I do not have. Yeah, but she's like, she's good, man. She's a hot chick. She's a pretty hot chick. She's gorgeous. But, and, see, uh, but seeing those angles, also, here's the thing. The nasty, like, how she took the picture, I'm like, oh, she's a freak. Yeah, you know she's going to really lay it down. Yeah, she gave you, like, a dentist pick. Like, she got in there and fucking... Like, if you don't put a finger in her butt, she calls you a faggot the next day at brunch to her friends. Yeah, or if you... a bit of a faggot. Or if you come too quick, she grabs you by the throat. <laughs> she's, you better muscle up another one. And you're like, I, I can't breathe up. She starts putting a scrunchie around the base of your dick. <laughs> she's like, I'm going to do you like a rodeo bull. Yeah, giving you a hobo ring. <laughs> we call this a Tuscaloosa milking. Oh, see, that's all good. That's great. I don't even mind the wispy hairs Yeah, on her butthole. Her fucking, her wisdom hairs on her butthole. Well, you got to grow them out before you can get them waxed, dude. Yeah. Either that or you got to grow shaving her Look asshole in the she's... shower. Yeah, I'm okay with all of this. This is great. This, that's great. So, yeah, so she was a, a one that I was like, that that lines up good. Jennifer Lawrence. Even after these? Yeah. Even after the fucking Mars photos? Yeah, I'm okay <laughs> looks, with that. It looks like a crater on Mars. Yeah, but look, it's man, it's a, it's a weird shop. Dude, you if, you did, if you showed me that, 
I'd be like, oh, that's a uh, that's a picture of a fish in the deep, deep sea. <laughs> is that the kind of one that has a light on its head? <laughs> oh, yeah, this is the one that the submarine had to take pictures of. Is that a of. scavenger? <laughs> yeah. But I'm trying to think if there's anyone that, was there ever a good one? Um, Of what? Like a, like a great puss shot for a celebrity. A great? Because um, Britney Spears' was awful. Britney Spears, we never found the Lindsay Lohan. Um. And you said Jennifer Lawrence changed your opinion. I mean, I mean, go to the Jennifer Lawrence thing. I mean, they're fantastic. As a J Law fan, I'd appreciate it if you didn't support the fapping, but do it. <laughs> yeah, it's a wow! Really look disgusting. at that. Who's that? Good for oh, her. Man. I mean, like man, that's, that, that that's, is amazing. That's like that's like one of the. I mean, there's so many. Ah, oh, uh, man, and, that's just inviting your face. Yeah, I mean, she's. That looks like a fun water slide. When you see a water slide, you're like, I just want to jump it. Look at that. She's throwing up dubs. Oh, reverse. Is she throwing West Side Down? <laughs> Bow down. <laughs> is she, who's she fucking Mac 10? <laughs> what? Yeah, dude. I mean, she, she really, she came out of the gates on the, like, like big for me in that, in that fapping. I, that was what? a big, big one. Uh, are there, are there, here's a letdown. Are there celebrity here's, been a, here's been a letdown to me. Madonna naked. Let down. I'm not talking about the her, sex her book. at all now, but yeah, just in general. Yeah. When she would come out, do, how about the old penthouse picture she did with that yeah. big woolly muff? Yeah. yeah. Which I don't mind. This, I don't care about the hair. Which like I just. <sighs> she's been a let. You know what it is? She's got like nice, decent sized titties and real baby nips. All right. Which I don't think they looks that good. You know who I wasn't? We talked about it briefly on the show before. Alyssa Milano. What? What about it? Great. Oh. Held oh. Yeah. Held up. Naked yeah. wise, I mean, she was. But have there been celebrity dudes had dick pics leaked? Oh yeah, well leaked. Like, have there been dick pics like a guy getting out of it, like like <laughs> Liam Neeson getting out of a car too quickly? <laughs> no, but I mean, there's like uh, the famous like dude pics, but they're like stylized, so it's never going to be bad. That's what I'm saying. You got the guy from Typo Negative, uh, Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. Oh, Geraldo, but that's not. Look at Geraldo's torso, Bieber. Yeah, but they're not like they don't show yeah. anything. Wait, who's oh, that? Is that? Is that uh, Channing Tatum? I don't oh, know. No, no, no. I don't oh, like oh, that it's... all their bodies are sculpted. It's an Olympian. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, look. Oh, there was a lot of the dick pics that came out. But dude, you want to you want to have your heart broken? Wait, what was that crusty body? <laughs> <laughs> Scott Evans, the younger brother, the of, brother Chris of Chris Evans? Evans. Oh, that's <laughs> hilarious. When you're having a bad body day, you're like, I'm having a real Scott Evans day. Uh, by the way, that's the worst yeah, way to pull your dick. Like, just pulled out of the uh, fucking, out of his button flies. Yeah, what, like a horse just drinking at a trough. Um, who's that? Who's Richard? No, Barnes no, no. From, you're 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 reading it wrong. Richard Barnes is the guy uh, above. He's the ex deputy mayor of London. That's the dick pic oh, of the guy okay. up there with a one suspender on. That's what I'm calling my. That's what I'm calling my shitty dick pics now. The other the one's Richard, uh, the, uh, Richard Barnes. The black guy below. That's the little Romeo. I don't know if they're going to have the one. So is that it? Is that me? <laughs> Look at that guy. Oh, Lil Rome. No, Speaking but... on No Limit Day. Oh, um, can't wait. Diplo. All right. Method Man. Oh, that was Method Man. That's hilarious. I don't want to see Method Man. I do. Man. Can we get to one where we can actually see Method Man's dick? It's going to change to Cal for me. <laughs> Cal. <laughs> <laughs> Geraldo looks fucking great, dude. Geraldo's well, he's like he's like he's gonna walk up to you in a sauna. Yeah. Hey, hey, you mind uh, sucking? You mind if we suck each other off? You're like, are you Geraldo? <laughs> Sorry, I come to bathhouses for news scoops. The, you know the ones that? Uh, oh man, we're all right. Let's yeah, let's look do at, it. Let's see Method Man's dick. I didn't fucking want to. It do says this. you gotta wait. You gotta click. Jason, Jay can navigate the page. Well, like you've been here. I've seen all mem- all nine members of the Wu Tang's <laughs> dick. Oh wow! All right. There's 18. Well, that's not that impressive. I thought that'd be better. I mean, that's. Completely I was hoping for soft. more. With that confidence, I was hoping for more. Dude, that's soft. It's not a bad soft. That's you, a great. Listen, soft. you want to have your heart broken right now? Yeah. Um. And by the way, this will make you uh, testify for him in court. You go to Chris Brown. Chris Brown's dick, dude. I'm surprised there was picture frame enough to catch his thing. Oh no way! That big? Oh, it's gonna upset you. And then Greg Oden. Well, of course, he's seven foot tall. I know. Does he have a seven foot tall kind of dick? Dude. <laughs> I like, why do you have, first off, I love, like five minutes ago, I was like, are there male celebrity dick pics? And you're going through them like, let me tell you, give you the hits. No, I didn't yeah. know. I knew, I know Whoa. Chris Brown. Oh, that's I mean, soft? 
That's soft. Of course. He punched me right in the mouth. That kind of <laughs> hey, I'll, dude. Take, I'll take a beating at a Ferrari. Fist, fist or not, you're getting punched in the mouth with that thing. Oh, my. <laughs> yeah. The, it, Rihanna only took a beating from the waist up that day. <laughs> <laughs> she goes, I'll be honest with you, in hindsight, I was happy just to take a face beating that day. It was a day off for me. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't have to stop by CVS to get an ice bag. Um, And Greg Oden. Greg dude. Oden. Dude, Beast. Jesus. Things beast. Yeah, are there any? I mean, I'm talking about pink dicks. Oh, like white dude dicks. Yeah, is there any decent? Oh, Brett white dude? Favre was hilariously bad. I've never seen Brett Favre's dick. Can uh, we see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the way, you're listening to the Bonfire on Con Central Radio. If you're wondering what's happening, Jay and I are recording an episode because we're both Hollywood. We're just checking out dicks. Yeah, just looking at dicks now. We looked at puss. Now we're is that Greg Oden? Yeah. Yikes. Look at that. Now, here's the thing. It doesn't look like it's amazing, but you got to put a proportion foot. that he's seven foot. What is this? Like seven two? Yeah. Seven one, I think. I mean, yikes. God damn. Go to yikes. Brett Favre. Is, yeah, uh, I'd always have. I a, mean, look at that face. He got a smirk on his face. Brett Favre's, I can't wait for his crusty Mississippi it's dick. The one, he sent this dick pic to like I a, met her. Uh, the lady. I met the lady that he sent it to. She, she was, does comedy. Did she go? Actually, I like that. Her name's like Jen. Whatever. Hispanic something, right? She's so hot. Is she? She's crazy hot. She doesn't stand up. You want to see mine? <laughs> uh, can I show it? Like a Scotty from Boogie Nights? Can I show you? I was like with Jim Morrison. You want to see it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> you want to see it? Uh, Did you see it? Val Kilmer. Did you see it? Did you just pull down your leather pants. Did you see it? <laughs> a recent history. Look Excellent. at Brett Favre. Hey, look at my dick. You want to see my dick? Oh, we're going into Brandon Spikes territory. Oh. oh Oh shit! Oh, we got a whole website of nude athletes. I want to see him. That he. Uh, oh, all right. Notice. Okay, okay, all right. So you got to go to the the not safe yeah, for work go. image. There you go. You see where it is, Lou? It's only safe for Lou, our work. Lou, get the scent. <laughs> Lou, you get the scent. Go find it, Lou. Oh yes. Who's that? Professional a, swimmer? Yeah. I don't like that. I had sex with a swimmer one time. I don't like that. And it was the most muscular body I've ever touched. Look at that male or female. Yeah. Look at that. Third, uh, I'm gonna go th- uh, three one. <laughs> <laughs> like it's a bingo, no, no. like it's a bingo board. First, first column, third down. Okay, Boom. Go. Oh yeah. I'm I'm going this for like the ew factor. Wait, why are there two sleepy old British men? Because that's you... how they feel about this picture. And they're like, oh, I find it caught to be a bull. Yeah, I guess you can't go zoom in on it, but I mean, like, uh, that is not a uh, no good. Too muscly, dude. A girl with abs. Does I love nothing. that it keeps coming back to these two humps. A, a girl with abs does nothing for me. Nothing. It turns me off. A girl with, like, uh, jacked abs. Even muscly arms. <laughs> I don't fucking like. Like I'm saying. I, I CrossFit I, shoulders. Dude, I hooked up with a swimmer in college. It's no she good. was all American. Holding on to her, I didn't feel sexually aroused. I felt safe. <laughs> she, was so, she was so fucking did we lock the front door yeah. she's like oh, it's okay don't worry about just, it just stay inside me you're, you're safe here oh here we go all right go. uh there is jen, yeah, jen she Sturger. is hot dude she's crazy hot i'm gonna send her dick pics uh well oh, wait no we don't do that no we don't <laughs> you don't do that where's the pic um you gotta go in like the body of the thing I, usually can i be honest this makes me like brett Favre more oh this, this is it. a dude that he just fired one off like, hey, here's my dick. I throw as many interceptions as I throw touchdowns. And here's my dick. <laughs> it's a very Brett Favre thing to do. If you ever watch him play football, of course he's going to send a reckless dick pick. <laughs> he just goes for it. Yeah, he does. Go like, big. Win big or lose big. Yeah, either it's going to be a 40-yard touchdown or an easy pick for a safety. I wouldn't say, but no, I would just put a dick pick. There's uh, no nudity. It's just dick. Don't worry. Don't you tell our internet bloodhound. What Go get him, Lou. <laughs> get the scent, Lou. Ooh. That's, yeah. Oh, that's it? <laughs> yeah, dude's going to bum me out. I mean, he's a thick cut. Uh, Yeah, dude, no, that's a fucking... That's he a is. Shit. By the way... He's a thick piece. He could be... Not, a, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, dude, that last one's where it's like, come on, Brad. No, dude, that's what I'm saying. That's my point. He's also got a really thin dick. Oh, man. And uh, and here's the thing though, is that it it makes you wonder like, it's the the cockiness of these dudes. Well, they're he's like a, I had somebody. Ah, uh, oh, dude, that is like I had somebody. That looks weekend, like a medicinal pick. I had somebody who uh, hooked up with a friend of ours. Okay. Years ago, okay. they're both friends of ours, but they had hooked up years ago. I want to hear and all the, fair. And yeah, and the girl said, uh, 
She goes, oh, my God, and he had that little thing. She goes, but he's so confident. And I'm like, see, I'm almost, but I'm, I don't, I'm not saying that to shit on the guy. Yeah. I'm impressed by that. I'm so impressed that Brett Favre's like, hey, hey, super hot lady, I'm Brett Favre, and here's my dick, where it's like, I, I've sent dick pics in my life, a bunch. Yeah. But they are, like, style, not stylized, uh -huh. but it's like, you know, it's picture day. I'm aware of it. I don't just go, they don't just go, snap a quick uh, dick pic. I'm like, crank. I don't let I got to, like, you know, get a beef up and be, like, in the right position. Oh, dude, if, really... I'm not, if I'm not throbbing, I, I take it on an upswing on a throb and oh. catch it all. Yeah, and sometimes I even, like, just look like you're grabbing the bottom, but you're really pushing back on the base a little bit. I totally And it, the... gets that, it gets that real, like, it's trying to fucking yeah. really break free work from it, something. Work it. Push it towards. Push it towards. Show me. Show me arouse. You like it? Show me arouse. See you like I'm losing yeah. blood. I'm losing blood. <laughs> We're starting to fade down. Have you uh, have you hit an age yet? We should talk about this after the break. But have you hit an age yet where your uh, your dick doesn't agree with you sometimes? Absolutely. At a pure like I don't have boner problems. I don't need like medicines or pills at all. But I definitely have the pressure cooker situations now. We're like, oh shit! Like, come on. Come on, Boner, get up there. I like, go, like, like, I'll have it for five minutes, and then, like, in the distraction of doing whatever I'm doing, like, yes. Here's lose the it, I, and then you're like, oh, come on. Get here's the way where I look it was. at it. it look, it's like now, when you think someone's in the next room, but they're farther away, and it's like that moment, we are like, hey, get in here. Hey, hello? Where are you? And you you <laughs> yeah. have to go search for them. You're like, are, did you go upstairs? <laughs> ah, God damn it. That's how it feels sometimes with my dick, or I'm like, hey, dick. It used to be always right there. Yes. Dick was like, what's up? And now you're like, Dick, hey, I'm downstairs, Dick. You have a, a chick. Uh, I don't have a chick. No, no, no. I'm saying, That's but why I, I'm all boners now. Have you had a chick, though, get upset that, uh, like, after, like, you know, making out and fucking around forever, and you and your dick's not hard? Like, they, like, they don't realize that you're too seasoned and too far gone that, like, yeah, that's not always going to be the boner. Like, you may have to work on it a little bit. Oh, yeah, you've seen stuff. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, when yeah. there's a time in, in, where if a girl was in a bra, you'd be like, oh, shit, it's going to happen. And what? now it's like, no, no, you got to, like, yeah, I go, think, work, go work it over a little bit. I think a lot of girls are expecting you to be, like, an eighth grade boy. Where yeah. they're like, can I see it? And you're like, listen, honey, I'm going to need you to fucking sit on two of your fingers if you <laughs> want this thing to move. I mean, I want you to, you got to say some real, real grizzled shit if you want me to move right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like shock. You're like, tell me you're more excited to fuck me than when you fucked my dad. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> it's like, she just sees it grow. Up, up. Uh, All right. Right uh, now. now. Right now. Now. It's like a space shuttle launch. You got a 15 minute window. <laughs> now. now. We got cloud coming cover over and I am not going to come. I mean, we, I love the Brett Favre's I, I love it. Dude, on that, a giant TV. So look at how. And is and he's making the classic mistake, and I say this on stage: Why the hand? No hand. I mean, the tallest man in Japan looks tiny when Godzilla's foot comes in the picture. Goddamn right. The football player hand, man, quarterback. Uh, no matter how big Troy Aikman's dick is, His it grip is dwarfed in that fucking baseball mitt of a hand he has. Yeah, you think him firing passes to Alvin Harper, <laughs> and you don't think that he's going to not look fucking like he's got monster paws? He's tossing 70 yarders to Michael Irvin. With ease. <laughs> I don't give a fuck if he has a nine-inch dick, man. He's going to look like a fucking thimble in that fucking yeah. monster paw. Dude, he could have a Dirk Diggler piece. <laughs> the way he was slinging that fucking pigskin to Jay Novacek. <laughs> Of course, it's gonna look fucking tiny. Uh, well, it's a as we said, it's a new but not a live episode of the Bonfire. We're gonna take a break here. Listening to the Bonfire, Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM ninety five. And now back to the Bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Uh, that's that Dick Swang music. Ah, it's all no limit music today on the Bonfire. No limits. That's the theme. That's why we're just checking out celeb puss and dick. We've got no limits. And truth be told, the reason we're playing No Limit Soldiers all day, No Limit Music, is because I came in and Master P was supposed to be here, and I was scrambling uh, to try to get a picture with Jay and I in, in, the, in Master P, but he canceled. He canceled. So, maybe next time. <laughs> but we're going uh, to ease our pain with Super Shock Out! Yeah, that's me! And Mystical. No Limit. I got a buddy that's still into No Limit. It's 2015. Still into it. Still into it. 
Like, I, mean, I gotta go camp out, midnight release for uh, C gotta, Murder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. C Murder just got fresh out of jail. <laughs> I gotta hear that new album. Uh, uh, welcome to the Bonfire Comedy Central Radio Series XM 95. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Uh, we're looking at nude pics. Uh, we started, somehow we immediately got into vag shots from celebrities. Yeah, we only got three, and then we jumped right to dick. Well, it was I figured, a little preemptive. I figured we'll get the dick out of the way. You gotta loosen up the ladies in this whole concept. We gotta, you know, we gotta keep our fans like Jill from Long Island. And, uh, I forget her name that taught us about the Alabama Caesar salad. Ooh, I wanna remember her name. Megan. Megan. Megan from Alabama teaching us about a little Alabama Caesar salad. <laughs> Eat the butt while you get titty fucked. I need something to do. I want to let back while my tits get fucked. Uh, we got Lou, the internet bloodhound on it. Um, um, we heard Jamie Foxx. We heard that. Jamie, Jamie Foxx Fox dick pick. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, very? Um, I mean, I, when the fuck was he that bulky? Uh, when he did uh, 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 Any Given Sunday. Was, yeah, was he that? I, yeah. thought, I thought he was still pretty thin in that. No, he was a running back, dude. Or he's quarterback. Quarterback. He was steaming while he beaming, bro. Yeah. I know. Saw the movie. But I'm saying that's when he, he looked like that. I uh, He's playing Mike Tyson. By the way, movie. black dudes really now the thing, full shaving. Dick oh, hair, really? ball hair, the whole thing. All gone? Just one smooth chocolate bar. That's a that's a uh I mean, you know, I know we I know white men stole rock and roll from them, but that really is a that's a white dude turn of the century move. Oh uh, white That's a real O one white guy move. I nah, mean, white men should not unless you are like unless your dedication in like almost any black dude can shave their dick and balls and it'll look fine. Yeah. A, a white dude, you have to be a guy who's lifelong Daily dedication is to making sure your dick area looks good enough to shave. You got to go tanning. Yeah, you have to uh, a lot of sit ups. Uh, I mean, you got you. You can't even have a bit of pudge. No, above your dick. If you have pudgy, any pudge, and you're completely shaved, it's you look like a fucking three. If I shave the top of my dick hair, it looks like a hot dog's falling out of a bun, <laughs> like a car to like someone yeah. squeeze in. Yeah. And says, yeah, why does this hot dog keep falling out? <laughs> all I want to do is eat it. It just keeps going all over the place. <laughs> I always think it looks uh, like whenever I've done that, it always looks like a uh, a Sesame Street character that isn't finished. <laughs> like once they put the fur on this, thing. well, when the when the Google eyes go yeah. above the nose, and when we put the like the red, there's going to be green hair on it, and it's going to be like it's going to be cuddly looking. Uh, have you seen the picture? They're introducting a new Fraggle Rock character. <laughs> yeah. oh, no. oh, it's Dan's dick. <laughs> White guys have Fraggle Rock dick. You sent a dick pic before, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, and you you happy with it? Mm, I don't think I'm ever happy with it. I immediately delete it. But it's it's in the it's but it's in the ether now. Yes, yes, cloud. Yeah. There's 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 pictures of my dick floating. Bonfires, around. feel free to go in, in into the iCloud hack and try to find me and dance dicks. <laughs> no, please don't. I don't. <laughs> we don't need a bonfire hack. I'm okay with all my dick pics. I mean, I'm fine with it if it came out. I'd be like, yeah. Well, there first you of go. all, they're all dick. I don't ever like fucking. You're never gonna get face and dick in one pic. You must think I'm a fucking I, I, asshole. Uh, these Jamie Fox pictures, like all these, like uh, in the, the mirror. That's the dumbest. The, the thing full you can body, do. man. I, I don't. I do not get that. I legitimately could defeat you in a court of law if you showed me my dick pic. I'd be like, "There's no proof." Yeah, the only way you'd be able to do it is by pulling it in. You'd be like, "Oh, you pulled your dick." Out of these basketball shorts, I can prove you own these basketball shorts. <laughs> it would be a long case. Oh, it would be a really long case for me. Yeah. I'd be like, that's not my vein work. Check out my vein work. Yeah. that's How do you even know? And by the way, the veins shift. It's always shifting. <laughs> They're very shifty. So let's go back to... I I'll tell you, I'll tell you uh, who's... I, I feel so many emotions about is the Miley Cyrus stuff. Why? Because... I'm not into it. A few years ago, she was a my daughter literally went to Hannah Montana Best of Both Worlds concert where she comes out in like very stagey like kid clothes and like you know the songs are all about going to the mall and <laughs> having a party with your friends in a Jeep. Yeah. And I mean now it's like and then it said her next move was literally like, you know, punch fucking herself with a number with a Hulkamania finger yeah. <laughs> on stage. And then since then it has been non- Stop, dude. No pussy yet, to the best of my knowledge, but like covered pussy, like you know. And she looks like a young Harley Quinn. Yeah, you know. Listen, 
Is I mean, her body is really not my thing. No, but, but her body, her 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 tits. She looks sick. Yeah, but she's still like she's taking a dump in a sink. Why did they just make it move? There's still something. Yeah, that's my point. There's still something about her though that I do think is hot. Because I feel like she'd toss you a nut and then just be like, "Get out of here." (laughs) I really appreciate that. Yeah, exactly. She goes, "Look, it's later than I thought. Let me just suck y'all." Hey, you can pop a mouth. You don't gotta listen to none of my tunes. But if you're gonna (laughs) leave, you mind taking the trash to the curb? Tomorrow's trash day. You're like, I mean, I kind of respect your love of your neighbor. <laughs> I made ribs. Yeah. And then, but I don't find her. I'll tell you this. This is an arrogant thing to say, She's but become it's sexy. It would almost have to be like, you know what? Like, if, whoa, that's not her. Is that her? Wow. That looks like that fucking could be her. I, if that's her, I am a fan. <laughs> that's her dad? That's, that's I mean, Billy Ray Cyrus yeah, yeah, in her no. pussy? Don't eat my pussy. There's my some, aching, breaking pussy. There's, I mean... There's, if you don't know what we're looking at, we're looking at a picture I, we think is Miley Cyrus being uh, having conolingus performed on her while she sits on a sink. Allegedly. Uh, uh, there's got to be someone right? who's done a... Uh, a Allegedly. Ma- there's got to be someone who's done like a Madden breakdown of this to show why it definitely... That's what I love. I like the Selena Gomez stuff for that because they have people who go to detail and go, look at this freckle. Look at the freckle on this picture. Yeah. <laughs> it really is like that. It's like JFK with Kevin Costner. Yeah. <laughs> Back and to the left. That is one magical freckle. <laughs> oh, my God. Is that? I mean, that looks I don't like know. that could be her. But I I'm, I'm really going by. I really hope it is. I'm really going by quarter mouth and eyelash. <laughs> yeah. And I thought that was blonde hair peeking into the top of the frame. You know. Uh, oh. Now, here's something. Here's an interesting a point we can get into. Sometimes when they go too far, yes, like the like Jennifer Lawrence stuff is great, yeah, because that's clearly for a person or several people through her life, yes, and someone got them, and she, there is a direct recipient in mind. Absolutely. Now you got the situation of a Farah Abraham. That sounds like a biblical verse. I have no idea. Uh, the teen mom. Oh, with the uh, James, James Dean. Dean. And she yeah. gets, I mean, she gets it. She squirts. Yeah. She takes it heavy in the dumper. Yeah. I mean, he- I mean. To the I point mean, that I wanted to reach out to Child Protective Services. Yeah, for that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, you can't no, have a mother with an asshole that's going to look like that. You can't make a decent lunch after you've been pounded like that <laughs> in the butt. I mean, yeah. gets it in two of them. And she, uh. And James Dean's got a piece. Nice piece. And she's hot and, you know, whatever, in a plastic way, but she's hot. And it in, it comes and goes. Like, what do you, you know what I mean? Like, I just, like, my own give a shit. You know like, why? I, I, I tug off to it once, and then it's, it's you know, over. You know why? Because it's so in the open. It's just so readily available. Yes. You want what you can't have. Exactly. So when you That's see why it's those... great in New York's a great city when you look in a window and you see if you saw a, a you know a, a chubby chick since Slayer yeah. you see a chubby chick uh who or not even chubby just like someone you're not really attracted to or an older lady and she's like taking her bra off and the windows just open like you're almost like you're still like oh wow this is crazy yes, I'm not, now, now if you saw her on the street and she was like you want to see my tits you'd be like nah. get out of here you crazy old bag <laughs> yeah but if you're like you're like oh shit like this is yeah. crazy i'm not supposed to see this that's what the whole appeal is the appeal is almost you're not supposed to be seeing this but you're seeing it and you feel like a fly on the wall yeah that's it and you're like oh shit yeah, oh shit and then you wish, yeah. you're like i wish more people were here to share this yeah <laughs> i want to talk about this but, but her what she did she just got openly pounded by James Dean, mm. because and, and, you know, with, with the SDR show, the podcast that I do, yeah, I meet a lot of porn stars, and and they're cool and they're fine. It's not, nothing to do with them, and they're hot, yeah, and okay, all that it, shit. But I just, like it's just, it's like it's never as exciting as I think it's going to be. And I and I don't, I rarely, if ever, go back and jerk off to their shit because I met them. You know what? It's like when you meet someone that you don't expect to be funny. And they're funny, and you're like, I really enjoy this. Whereas when you meet a comic, you're like, eh, I know, I know what you do. Don't be funny around me. I know. That's yeah, what yeah, you yeah. Do. When you meet a porn star and they're sexy around you, you're like, stop it. That's your job. 
But yeah. when you meet a girl that's not... Do you not, want me to boop, boop, yeah, boop, you're like, boop, 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 Shut up. And that's like when a comic's like, look at this. Oh, over here. It's like, this is like when this and this. And you're like, shut up, dude. Oh, man, we get a lot of that with the porn stars, dude. The really? porn stars do a lot of that. Like, no, I just add, he goes, if you want, do you want to see it? And I do, but you're like, you're like uh, sure. You should, you, <laughs> should, you, should, you should implement a new thing on the SDR podcast where you do it like um, almost like a DMV kind of attitude. Like, show us your puss, okay? Show us your tits, great. Check. Go, move forward, miss, move forward. <laughs> Excuse me, is my, oh, I will call you yeah. when we're ready. Is your tits number 17? No, <laughs> then please to the side. But also it's like, I think the thing about this, this chick that did the porn with James, what's her name again? Veronica? Uh, Farrah Abraham. Fair Abraham. <laughs> thing with her is like, uh, you're almost like you're grabbing at fame now. This isn't. And it's it, and it's over. Like Jennifer, Jennifer Lawrence does. There's like she's famous. She's as famous as you can get. So when you see her naked, you're like, oh, oh God. You know, are you blown away by the way though of the the movement of like doing a full blown, I mean, load on the face porn is an acceptable and very often sought after. Like, let me clinch on to this little notoriety I got in yeah. the world and do it. And they do it. That girl, and I'll tell you, it's funny, I actually have, have uh, used this video before, too. Sydney Leathers. I don't know. That sounds... S-Y. By the way, that sounds like a girl you went to high school with that died in a car accident. It's S-Y-D-N-E-Y. <laughs> hey, do you guys remember Sydney Leathers? Leathers. Do you remember Junior um, when she got killed? And go, Now, just click on her normal picture of her. Cause she's a little, she's a little chunky. I don't give a fuck. I love that. No, listen. Oh, me too. No, oh, that's, that's my a, style. Dude, yeah, dude, me too. But that this is the girl that fucking Weiner, uh, Anthony Weiner, Anthony Weiner sent his dick pics to. I get it. She got that notoriety. Yeah, from that, and she just went. And by the way, she's like, uh, like a like high level academic and stuff like, and all. This, and she comes out, and, and I mean, she just like you know. She blows a guy, okay. uh, gets fucked 15 different ways, and shoot, shoot a fucking load on her face. Like, she just goes for it. Now, I'm one of 15 fucking people in the country. Oh, wow. Her That's her? Yeah. I'm I telling you, it's great. Dude, she's, she's, very, she's, she's, taking, very, she's taking pictures. She takes porn pictures like this ain't her first rodeo. Oh, yeah. She's very regular looking, though, in, in a lot I of ways. I love regular looking. Me, too. I'm saying... I've jerked off to this video. Okay. I'm just saying, like, uh. Do it again now I'm, here on the show. <laughs> you like this? Make eye contact with me, sir. Guys, how was the recorded episode? No, you look away. How was the recorded episode? It got real fucking weird. <laughs> he goes, man, we need those callers. <laughs> it, it, it gets seedy in the office. Um, yeah, she takes it all different ways. Looks like she's Is that sucks. her blowing the dude? Yeah. Ah, good for her. I almost bought that duvet cover. Oh, my God. Um, true story. <laughs> I looked it in up. In fact, I think I had that duvet cover, but in blue and white. Uh, threw it out, though. It got ratty quick. It was okay. a button bottom instead of a zipper button. Yeah, I got, I'll, a, I'll I got a button bottom. Yeah, I don't like the button bottom. I do. I enjoy it's it. It's not a the good. bottom. I keep the button as the top. That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to duvet talk. Well, now you're just an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> I like we go from puss shots to duvet talk. Yeah, I mean, she's spreading the uh, the beehole nice that's, and pink. That, I mean, that is such a, that's a grizzled porn vet star move you know what we need to do we need to get a porn star on here like lisa ann or someone that can break down these videos to tell us if they've done porn or not man i'll be honest with you and i like lisa i met her a few times now it, the reality is just none of them are gonna yeah it's just, i'm gonna be truthful with you okay. i've interviewed a bunch now i know you're not going to respect the opinion of any of them. Okay. And I don't mean that to be misogynistic even. I'm just like, they're coming from a place where they're, you're going to get one or two things. And I've never had, I've never even had the latter. You're going to get a complete justification and the beauty and why not and women's lib horseshit. Or you're going to get the, it's a savage thing and I was lured in and, and everything's terrible and whatever. There's not just going to be like a, it, it, no one talks about it with the same thing where it's like, yeah, I had a problem with coke in college, and I did. This stuff's just evil, and I just got over it. And, 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 but it's like you know, people do it. People can do it casually. It seems fun. Like you're never going to get that middle of the road thing. It's always going to be like, uh, I, 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 again, I'm speaking for her, so I won't even say Lisa Ann, but I think like a porn star with that kind of 
cake is, still- is going to be like, it's going to be like, wait, yeah, girl, if you could work it while you got <laughs> it, go out there and do it. <laughs> go out there. Who cares? But I don't want that kind of opinion. I want a, has she done this before? I want like, uh, like the way in, in court where they call it. I think you want like a Nikki Glazer, uh, I- I- impression of it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, like a like, comedian. Like, uh, uh, yeah, but she's a man because she's a comedian is not the best answer. But I would just say, like, like, like a reasonable, oh, you, pretty girl. Okay. Who could, Nikki Glazer can turn her notoriety where she's at right now into fucking porn success if she wanted to. Why wouldn't she do that? And she can get explain to you. Why? I mean, obviously, why? Because there's potential to do bigger. Could a dude, better. Could a dude ever do it? Can we just start flaunting dick pics? Oh, I got a sex tape out there. They're like, you want to watch a real mediocre body? Bang a, a Cincinnati seven. Dude, let's just make sex tapes. Dude, that's hilarious. Let's go get the Kardashian route. Um, that was a good example. Uh, use that video once. Never got into it. And she's, I've seen pictures of her where you're like, holy shit. Yeah. Man, how hot is she? Then you watch the video, you're like, yeah. You know what's the same way? And she's hotter and younger in that video, and you're still just like, and Ray J's got a fucking wallop. Oh, man. What God, a, death that it was CGI. What a Thor hammer. <laughs> it looked like the fucking, uh, what's the, the Grundle? What's the, what's the thing about That's hilarious and Beowulf? <laughs> yeah, what's that, the Grundle? I've heard you've got a monster. <laughs> I'm here to suck off your monster. With fucking, what was his name from, uh, he did the voice of Beowulf. Someone tells me you've got a big black dick. I'm here to suck that big black dick. Oh, let me see it. Uh, um, that's a, the Kim Kardashian one, I was like, eh, all right. I get it. Yeah, I just like, I'm trying to think if there's, you know, there's who, so Pam, pr- Pam Anderson sex tape. I was really like, okay, I got it. Me too. Now I jerked. And that off was your that. girl. I jerked off to that ton because it was because you had my to. girl. And I'll tell you one that the Brett Michaels one is a little better in the sense that it's raw, or but you don't see as much. I was a bigger fan of the Vince Neil Janine Linden Mueller. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Janine Linden Mueller. Linden Mulder. Linden Mulder. Mulder. Linden Mulder. Linden Mulder. Yeah. Linda Mulder? <laughs> is there a fucking... Umla? Is there umla? <laughs> we just gave her Molly Crew umlauts because she's fucking Vince Neil. Uh, I didn't have a problem with that. That one was okay. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what's a good one. Now, I haven't used it a bunch either. Yeah. And uh, and every time I watch a, a true TV talking heads thing, I always get that thing. I'm like, oh, yeah, remember Tanya Harding's filthy little scuzz body? Oh, please. Tanya Harding, my ex girlfriend. get the scent. My ex girlfriend Cheryl, like yeah. I was with for a long time, like was like a little Tanya Harding. She was tiny. She cried. Titties, she goodbye, cried when she... her shoes weren't tied. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, she paid me to go beat a rival high school kid. <laughs> you were her Jeff Galuli. It's not even. It's when she's getting naked in the wedding dress. You're like, oh shit, man! Like what a little white trash pig! Like, yeah. like fucking Tanya Harding spits on your butthole without you asking. Or she also. Uh, lights up a cigarette before she comes. <laughs> She's like, I just want this thing burning for when it happens. Hey, I'm going to keep your cowboy hat. I think I earned it, right? Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> but seriously. Oh, my God. <laughs> you just went into my past with that. I fuck chicks like that. They're like, I'm going to keep this now, though. Because, and you're like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, really. It's like they let you know how emotionless the sex really was also. It's like, I want this <laughs> shirt now. Can I wear this shirt? I remember this girl. You when you're just like, I'm just kind of using this situation for sex. When they're like, when there's like, me too. You're like, geez, lady. <laughs> I'm a would person. Your dad leave? I'm a person with emotions. <laughs> I wish you'd treat me like that, dude. Look at it's buffering, and we had to go all the way to Pornhub for Tanya Harding. Lou the Lou she's fucking the a dog. <laughs> oh, that'd probably be about where her career settles right now. Now she's like a fucking fat, weird, like sunburnt. Weirdo on True TV. I mean, you got to do a side by side. And by the way, she was never like hot. No, she was like, a cute younger girl. I guess Not even. So, yeah, she was. A she's a real ice skate in the mall kind of look. <laughs> real, I go ice skating on. You do it, baby. You're doing great. You're you're a know, prin- mom. Oh God, you're a princess, and I love you. You know, they always say that uh, Kardashian's mom, like Chris Kardashian, in- like uh, what do you say, in- orchestrated. Like everything from the tape to the yeah. the, the husbands. You Wait, think, really? Yeah, you think honestly that like like she's a criminal mastermind? She was like, hey, hey, honey, hey, you know, uh, like like child that I bore, <laughs> go take this fucking thick steamer 
And then we're going to fucking throw it out there on the internet. We're going to get you some fucking... I set famous. you up with a real now, piece of dick. It worked, but I mean, Jesus, like, can this lady be, like, vilified at all? You know, it's the same, it's the same thing, like, people forgetting when something gets so popular, like a dippy show like the fucking Kardashians comes out, it's stupid. You know what I mean? Multi, multi-millionaires now because of... Right, but I'm saying, but it's like, it's dumb and it shows what, like, idiots and superficial, like, kind of retards they but are. But I love that when women watch it, they go, I watch it because they're stupid. And you're like, no, you don't. But, but it's just, I'm talking about money and fame making people forget, like, yeah. you know, Dr. Dre is a good example. We, that, that story's out there. Like, he was off the map, sort of, for a while. You know what I mean? Just kind of, and then when he comes back and he comes back to those with the headphones. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Huge. He's a, a, you know, a millionaire, billionaire possibly. And then people, and then it's just come up again. He's apologized for it because he has no choice, but there's a thing where it came out and he's really done the, uh, you know, it's, it, we're finding out, it's like, oh yeah, remember he very publicly like beat the shit out of chicks a whole bunch? A couple times. Yeah. And it's just like, oh yeah, you forget that. You know what I mean? So I was saying, you almost forget that like, the Jenner family's gotten so embroiled in other stuff that you're like, you forget that there, there's a lot of claim. It's like this mom but, has done all this wretched shit. But like, then they also, kids. you're you're right because, but then it starts, it becomes a cycle of itself. Well, now they're like Kylie Jenner. Is she gonna have a sex tape? And you're like, what the fuck? You guys are just repeating. You guys are doing reboots. You guys are rebooting your franchise. I want to watch it though. Like, oh, absolutely. You see that body glove picture? No. They keep it out there. Well, first of all, Ty, I want to say my ex girlfriend, for in her defense, uh, Cheryl had bigger titties and was better looking. I mean, far. but that's the kind of like, but so came from that kind of a hillbilly garbage family. Tanya Harding, and I hope they're listening. Tanya Harding has that kind of body where it's like accidentally seeing your younger aunt naked. <laughs> yeah, you're like, you're uh, like, oh god, I don't want to th- go in the pool and wear goggles so you can see your beef hairs coming out of the yeah, side. Yeah, uh, but it's like obviously an aunt by marriage. We're not gross. <laughs> but you see that, and you're like, ugh. Yeah, my, I had a great one of those. I had uh, a young, oh, my God, I'd go to my dad's house on the weekends when yeah. he was married, not to my stepmother now, the one before yeah. her. And uh, she had uh, the stepmom, my stepmother had a sister who I, I can only guess she's probably 50 now, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, like, uh, she was, like, 21, and she had a boy, and they, and she had a boyfriend, and they all wore, these, like, you know, like, Def Leppard shirts and acid wash <laughs> ripped up, and the guy had, like, you know, a comb in his back pocket, and, like, you know, he wore half tops, too. Yeah, because he's badass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> probably had a mesh half top. Oh, no shit. Yeah. He wore, like, fucking knuckle gloves that actually had the knuckles cut out of them. What a fucking awesome dude. Yeah, he was the shit. I thought he was awesome. I was like, but I knew that was the only thing that stood between me and this girl. That's great. <laughs> ten year old boy. Dude, I was when I was like ten, my dad lived in that uh when he moved from San Francisco to that butt fuck town north of the city. He had this girlfriend that was so hot that I got she caught me looking at her tits probably about four times to where I was like Oh, uh, that's the body glove type in. Um or bathing suit. I mean it's bathing suit, I'll type in. I mean, it's, dude, this picture is going to make you be like, wow, these girls are literally shot out of the vag and fucking raised to fuck. <laughs> it's almost like an old Spartan know, thing. These. Where's this? We've bred her perfectly. It's like on the cover of everything. Pink bathing suit, type in. Oh, you know what? Why are we wasting time with this? Type, go to the nipslip.com. I mean, I love give it. A plug. Got, let's give these guys a plug. She's 18 years old, but. The nip slip. But we're talking about her mom basically just. Promoting her to be a fuck thing. Speculation, I'll, I'll say that, but n- n- no one seems to, re- it seems to be a very big thing. Go down, uh, uh, if you go down and down, you'll find it. You'll see. They made a pretty big deal about it. <laughs> you know what I got it into for a long time? Were British girls with really big boobs, like Lucy Pinder. Am I saying her name oh, wrong? Oh, Lindsay Dawn McKenzie. That sounds like. Do you remember some, her? No, oh, we're like, gonna bring her up. That sounds like, like someone you took to homecoming. We're gonna bring. We'll bring a picture of her up after this because. Uh, keep going. Oh, is it? It's a. It's uh, maybe it's Kendall Jenner is the problem I'm thinking. But keep going. No, down. Kylie is the one you're talking about for sure. Yeah, you're talking about Kylie. When you go down, you know, Rose McGowan fell apart. Look at that. Salma Hayek still got it though. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Salma Hayek. Go to the previous. No, no, just, Salma Hayek. I'll tell you this right now. Go down to the bottom. She's the Joe DiMaggio previous. of fucking. Being sexy. She's just consistent. She's been there for a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep going. Kylie and Kendall. Uh, there was, no. That's not it, though. I like that you know exactly where it's earmarked. I go on this when I take a shit every day. Really? You poop while trying to get a boner? What no, kind of I animal check, I, I'm not trying to get a boner. I'm just seeing what's going on in the celebrity world of nip slips, dude. Keep going. 
Keep going. But my question is, where do they go from here? So they just keep getting until they're fully nude and then a sex tape? Um, right, there, there it is. There you go. No, no, down. down. Right there. Good boy. I mean, Bring these it back pictures here. are something else. Dude. Bring it right back here. Good boy, bloodhound. Go to view the pictures. <laughs> Lou, if you never jerked off to porn, these are all th- simple gateways. You I should mean, know. I've seen better pictures of that. Oh, dude, it picks, I mean, like, the one on oh, the, the top left. Her hips. She's got, like, Iowa mom hips. Really, dude? I don't know, man. I think it looks fucking, I like that a lot. You look. You like a woman that looks like she can bore you a strong son? <laughs> <laughs> So it shall be written. <laughs> so it shall She's be done. Got Viking woman hips. Oh, you got you got sidetracked. It's okay. Um, here's my whole thing about it, though. If her mom really did organize all this shit, do you think there's any feeling of guilt, or they just count that money and they're just like, "Fuck it." I think she's evil if this, she's really orchestrating it. Yeah, I, I think I, she's a terrible, terrible person who's fucking think sp- if, that fell ass backwards in the gold. You think if if there is a hell, she'll go to it? God damn, man! Don't you have to think, man? Don't you have yeah. to think. Look, I, I listen. I, Christ knows, I don't want it. Oh man, Jesus Christ! I mean, that's she. She looks like a she's centaur. Fucking eighteen with a body like that. Yeah, but look at her hips. It looks weird. All right, sorry. She's gross. My bad. No, I don't think she's gross, but I think it's like we're about to the... look. We're about to look at fucking beefy fucking Turkish mothers naked with big tits. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm okay with that. What I'm not okay with is her Jerome Bettis half. She's <laughs> fucking, got she's got third and one butt she, legs. She's nature on me. Yeah. Hey, Mike Allstott, I need you to get this across the goal line. Hey, Kylie. Uh, I, can't remember. I wish I could remember. Ah. What, Ironhead Craig? Larry, uh, come on, it, Arizona it, Cardinals. Oh, Larry, uh, I mean, uh, would have been Zonka. Funny. No. No. Oh, Larry Zabisco. Uh, Larry Zabisco. You say Larry Zabisco? I, I don't know why I was going to say Larry Zabisco. I knew crusty old wrestlers, uh, dude, really is the best. Oh, uh, yeah. Him and Tully Blanchard. Bruiser had Brody. Worst, had the worst bodies. Tully Blanchard. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He had such snip dad body. Uh, that's fucking great. I, I think she's uh, she definitely hot. But yeah, it's, but if you orchestrate it, makes you evil. That, as this said, and and. Christ, Carl, if you're listening to this, do not let Isabella hear this. I love my daughter, no matter what she does, from murder, porn, whatever it may possibly be. Um, if, I mean, like, I would never orchestrate her. Do I would never assume her uh, that her because mother that is would, a- would orchest- like putting your kid. Like that's it. You've literally told them this is your worth, so you better work that worth for all. It, it, this is your shot. Like, this is it, the one talent. Like, so if you're going like, and again, it's speculation, but if 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 Chris Jenner's going like, listen, you made a sex tape, someone got and like, just even if it's just a matter of like it's out there, like own it, girl, just go work it, and blah blah. It's like no, it's like, hey, mom, we're billionaires. Can we go buy it back from whoever? Yeah. Like, like, can we do? Is can we there, pay someone to scrub it from is, the internet? Is there another option before we go? Whatever, take it out, check it out. Look at I, me swallowing loads. Yeah, you know what? Feign embarrassment and then just go get that. Money. Yeah, you find out all these deals, they have to sign off on them. I mean, or else it's illegal. They so, could be sued. Vivid would, and by the way, Vivid. Somebody when Pam Anderson would go around and be like, I can't believe, and then people started going like, people stopped doing those uh, interviews because she's the first one that got called on. It's like, hey, dumb dumb. You got to sign this. Why are you? Why is your name on a contract then? Yeah. It's like, uh, well, and then they all, and then they always came back with, well, I figure I'm just gonna be out there anyway. So it's like, well, it might be out there anyway, but you're definitely co-signing it being released. You've just said it's okay. Like, yeah. So it's like, well, I might as well get that money. He goes, you're not gonna get that much money because most people are gonna steal it. Yeah. No one's gonna buy. Where you think they're gonna line up in the store to be like, ah, oh, do you have any? The only celebrity sex video I ever paid for was me and my friends did a fucking did a milk money. <laughs> Instead of getting Melanie Griffith to come walk around, oh, we just got I jumped a, off of that movie so many times. I like the idea of it a lot. Uh, instead, we, we all chipped in 20 bucks and got the $60 VHS of Pam Anderson. Wow. Yeah, the first $60 one. $60 for a tape. Tape, dude. fifty nine ninety five. I remember the fucking, the actual sticker, the price tag sticker that was on it. Yeah, was it one of those like pink ones that slapped gift shop, on it? Gift shop. Also, not knowing what we what to do, we were young. Seventeen or so, we got at the gift shop of a strip club. Not the gift shop, but the uh, you know, you walk out. Might as well buy food in an airport. 
You're yeah. going to get charged. Exactly. They own you. Yeah, your burger's going to be eight bucks. Yeah. No getting around it. Man, orchestrating. I love that, like, live Jasmine's up. All these, all these sex things are up, and they're going to come back. Oh, uh, like, you know live Jasmine. That's uh, always the pop-up when yeah. you have to exit out. When yeah, you're that's on, the one you're where you're like, why won't it let me exit out? Uh, we're going to take a break. Comedy Central Radio. Hours and hours of stand-up comedy from Comedy Central's massive library. For you right here, it's awesome. Comedy Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Na 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 na. No limit Wednesday uh, on the bonfire. Comedy Central Radio Series X M ninety five. I'm Dan Soder. That's Big J Okerson. Uh, We're playing all no limit rap today. Why? Because Master P was supposed to be here. We were supposed to get a picture, and then he canceled. We could also we could also make it that. Uh, it's no limits because we've seen we've just been looking at celebrity dick and pussy. Like there you that. go. We're very layered no here at limits. the bonfire. There's no okay. limit to the things we'll do. Uh, We're looking at sex tapes, sex pictures, wondering what motivates, what now, titillates, like Don King. And it now, motivates, <laughs> it titillates, it masturbates. Only yeah. in America. Only in America. Um, I want to talk about the other direction of this. What you're talking about going from sex tapes to legit? I'm talking about going like the porn route and going and who? I, I, it's, it's arguable that the most successful porn to mainstream, not fame, but acting, yeah, might be Tracy Lords. Tracy Lords, I'll even and I'll she th- has a and she has a junk career. I'll, but, throw, I'll throw in a random one that you might not know: mm-hmm. Ashlyn Gear. 80s porn star, Boy. but was in the X Files. Was in a bunch of movies. Was in X Files regularly. I think she had a couple episodes. Regular character, really? I don't. Well, we gotta do some fact check on that. I mean, I'm a pretty big Ashlyn Gear fan. Man, I'll tell you what, it is. I like that she had an angry fuck face. One of the meanest, uh, one of the the meanest I'll ever be to myself, and angry I'll be to myself is how much I fucking enjoy Tracy Lord's porno. I never got into her. It bums me out, though, because I go, you go, fuck, man. Like, she's, uh, what was, I think she was 16 when she got in or something. No. That's the big thing about Tracy. Oh, she almost brought down the whole porn industry, dude. Yeah, when she fucked, like, Ron Jeremy and shit, she's, like, 16, dude. What? And her body was like she was in 30, man. I mean, her, uh, Is that like, a good or a bad thing? No, a great 30, dude. Oh, okay. I mean, a you can find the you can find the naked pictures of her when she was 18. Like, they're not illegal. A strong... She had a strong body. Dude, I mean, her, those big fucking heavy banana tits. <laughs> it's, uh, dude, she was great. But but she, you know, crybaby, major role. Oh, yeah. Uh, she was in TV shows, like, as a major role. Was she in Sliders, maybe? Oh, loved Sliders. I don't know if it was Sliders, but she's, uh, she's got been, to meet Jerry O'Connell. She's been one of the stars. Very nice guy. Where? Billions. Table read. Oh, really? He's on the show. Oh, that's pretty cool. Well, we'll get to that in a little bit. Yeah, but he's a. Uh... Well, who's that? Oh, yeah. Lords. Oh, yeah. Dude. Look at her nipples. You didn't think her nipples were weird? Of course they're weird. They're like she's the head a, of a missile. She's not developed. It's a child. <laughs> I mean, we don't know if that's it. No, no, no. The ones that are around, they are, she's 18. Yeah. Um, no, they are. I'm saying they, they, dude, they've sweeped it. I mean, it almost brought down the porn industry, dude. Wow, she she went on to do it till she was like eighteen, nineteen, twenty, something like that. You know, so there's stuff. There's there's a couple of things. She only did one or two movies as a legal adult. Okay, and uh, but I mean, was that back in the day where all IDs you could just make in your basement because <laughs> the technology was fucking awful? Take a picture, bra. Yeah, I got your fake ID, <laughs> bro. The, the ones where you're holding up a giant ID <laughs> when you're hitting it? My friend and I came... You see fingers in the side of the ID? My best friend and I came to New York when we were... The first time I was ever in New York, I was uh, 17, and we came here... Like his, mo- his mom was a flight attendant, so we got a free flight, and we got fake IDs in Times Square, and it really was like that. Like, the guy was like... He just pulled down a picture and took a picture and gave us a fake ID, and it worked. We got into strip clubs. Wow, that's great. Yeah, and it was the worst strip club. Oh, hi. And now she's an adult. It's weird when you go from a porn picture to her being an adult. I mean, she, but she was just, uh, again, like, it was... Her her uh, her titties look I mean, like... That's, um, that's the era of her. that I, She just looked like an 80s fucking, like... I love... Uh, man, she was hot. Her tits I, I, I thought like, she was great. Her tits look like rocket pops. 
Jacob Lou, sign off on this for me, would you? Yeah? I mean, crazy. I mean, I'm all right about her. I think her boobs are weird. She has Samantha Fox boobs. Yes. Mr. Exactly. Samantha Fox has those yes. big banana titties, too. Yeah. And I, I don't mind a banana tit. And a hairy, and a hairy. Bush. You're a big hairy bush guy. Yeah, I am. But the, to go from porn to legit mm-hmm. is a mountain to climb. You know, listen, I'll say this. Uh, you can make an argument for Sasha Gray. She was on that whole season of Entourage where she was naked. But she was, yeah. She was also in our buddy Brian Koppelman and David Levine's film with Steven Soderbergh called Girlfriend Experience. Okay. Oh, I didn't know she that. She starred in that. And she also just did a movie where it's like she co-stars with Elijah Wood, like the whole thing. Yeah, so, I mean, I mean, she would probably be, I, would she be the biggest crossover from porn to legit? The reason you can make a good argument for that is because Tracy Lords uh, did porn. And she did, like, you know, I'm sure several guys at once. I'm sure anal, all these things. All the hits. But, uh, yeah, she did all the, yeah, absolutely. Sasha Gray is, like, the notorious, like, f- like throat fuck me, like, you know. Here's like, the weird. It's like, it's like, it's like violent yes. gang bangs. Yeah, there's parts where you're like, where you see clips of Sasha Gray where you're like, hey, do you want to talk? Like, you can't even jerk off. You're like, you want to go get a coffee and just hash some stuff out? I mean, <laughs> just like, hey, what's up? Just, hey, 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 hey. Just put your clothes back on. Let's just talk. Sorry I came on your face, but do you want to take a nap and just like, I'll hold you? One man meets one woman. She had sex with a bartender at a comedy club that I'm not going to release the name of, but a bartender at a comedy club had sex with her. No shit. Met her at a party and had sex with her. Good for him, man. Good looking dude. I mean. She's a cute chick, man. She's very cute. I would almost, it'd be funny if you were so naive that you met her and then like hooked up with her and you're like, you are an animal. Wow. And then she's like, yeah, I've kind of got some videos. And you see the videos, you're like, oh, so. Yeah, he goes, so Sash, I, hey, Sash, I noticed last night that. That's me calling her up. Hey, Sash, it's, uh, when you were, it's Dan. Um, I did some Googling. <laughs> Look at that pic. That's the pic you see. Uh, <laughs> I, I, watched, just... I watched you with what can only be described as a mandingo dick. Uh, Are you trying to get back at me? or? Hey, remember when you exhaled when I entered you? Was that because it wasn't enough or because it was just the right amount? Hey, remember when you said you were filing your nails while we were having sex because... You didn't want to hurt me with your fingernails? Yeah. Was that just because out of boredom or out of... Were you really concerned about getting as many fingers as possible in my ass? You know, just looking at stuff, just looking at work stuff. I love that because we're doing the pre-recorded episode, obviously not in our in the studio. We're doing it in the office. So people are just coming in and there's just pictures of Sasha Gray getting railed by a black dude. Oh. My favorite was uh, the guy from uh, Foxhole Station running out of the room. We brought up Jamie Foxx's dick. Like, no, no. <laughs> yep, yep. Oh, that's the boss. <laughs> But Sasha Gray, I mean, she has a legitimate acting career. Go to her IMDb. She's I guess done. she does, man. She I absolutely more to come, does. But, but how did she make that transition? God damn, dude. You almost, she, she, again, you rarely see that transition from, like, a filth bag. Like, uh, do you ever remember? Jenna Jameson went mainstream, but. But do you remember ever when, like, a kid at school would do something embarrassing and then would have the confidence to act like that thing didn't happen? Do you remember that? Like, when, like it didn't happen. Yeah, like a kid would get to pants on the playground and then just be like, by like later in the day. It was like, pants. Depants. It makes more sense, but it, yeah, you de-pants. call it pantsing a kid. Pantsing a kid? Yeah. That's your Delco school for you. <laughs> Yo, de- this yeah. kid got pants. Pants. And then we got to get in the house, get a bagel. <laughs> Open windows. There's the Elijah Wood thing I was Oh, yeah. About. And then she was in, look, the girlfriend experience. Would you rather, which is a horror movie. Well, that's, now, here, that's what makes the most sense from porn to mainstream is horror movie. Oh, but, uh, so I'm talking more mainstream. Here's the thing. Are you going back to her porn tracks? That's Let me tell you this, though. This is the truth. Tracy Lords? Yeah. I'm I'm 99.9 on this, and if uh, maybe it's one thing. She never did any nudity once she left porn. And didn't make no, sense. not I don't believe a lick of nudity. So you go from being she was, she left porn in a very like you you ruined my life porn. 
Mm. And then porn was like it was very uh, it was an uh, it was an ugly public breakup like, like a couple because porn was like uh, hey you almost shut this whole fucking industry I mean it got that's when all like people started really going in on it because like you let a girl do a hundred movies Jesus as a sixteen year old like that blew me. I guess a frothy mouth there. <laughs> hundred movies. <laughs> oh my God. You were talking about a plate of ribs. <laughs> Give me a hundred movies. That oh big bush. Oh, yes. Crazy uh, nipples. Cranky her fucking rocket pop tits. <laughs> <laughs> fucking ski slopers. Yeah. Uh, banana titties. Yeah, they are banana titties. But uh, she never did any. But Sasha Gray goes in to be like the by the way whore bag in movies. I just saw the most hilarious title for one of Sasha Gray's porns. It was called Deep Throat. This forty <laughs> four. I bet forty four volumes. There it, is. there it is. How about fuck colon Sasha Gray? <laughs> Uh, here, I, I, there, there's the porn. I don't like the girls who consider themselves actors because they're in porns like pirates, <laughs> like those pirate ones. Where, like, I bet those movies have. Can Can you look up the budget on high budget porn? Are you talking about Vivid's Pirates? Uh, yeah, I think we just what saw. was another big one? I, I mean, I don't know that you know big so, budget porn. They're always like Andrew uh, some Lloyd Webber. No, <laughs> no, there was a, like a, a guy like my parents. I'd always find porns in their bedroom. Would be like Andrew somethings. Oh, oh Andrew yeah. Blake, or is that the guy who made like a uh, Tim Robbins movie? <laughs> yeah. I love the fact that it'd be great to be a uh, like a very popular porn director. Stagnetti's Revenge. Stagnetti sounds like a, it really does. Stagnetti sounds like a guy you. They know. don't tell you on these. There's sites the original like, Pirates down yeah. there. That was, I remember when that one came out. That was like a VHS that was like seventy five dollars. It's fucking crazy. I've and, also, and I, I've, also like, I've also I've also watched never bought but I've watched like or borrowed or gotten DVD porns where it's like on the DVD you could change the angle of what. Yes, you want. and all these things where it's like I just don't need it. No, I just need thirty awesome seconds of a of a porn. I gotta find that thirty seconds. Yeah, you know what it is. I like, gotta hunt it. You're like a hip hop artist trying to look for a lick to create a beat no, off man, of in a Michael McDonald find, song. I want to find my tracks. Yeah, I'm a Michael McDonald. Oh, that's my drop right there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna use that for the beat. Oh, that's my drop. The top, yeah, big budget porns. There we go. The top porns that cost the most amount of money. Let's see here. Start oh, with awesome number list. ten. No, start with number ten. We're uh, we're looking at top ten most expensive budgets on a porn conquest. Yeah, conquest. Before pirates. Okay, that's good. But this is number ten. This is the smallest. So, hundred fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> it's so funny to see porn budget. It's like I got twenty bucks in a pack of double mint. And it's, by the way, by the way, also it's in nineteen ninety seven. Um, pirates theme it is also it's it's not the pirates movie. But it's about pirates. But see, pirates was that was the Titanic of porn movies. Are these made for couples only? No, they're made for dudes like you and me. Still, I don't think the high budget ones are. No, that's what I mean. Oh, I'm talking about the high budget movies. Yeah, probably to get your girlfriend into it. Like, hey, there's good budget on this, <laughs> baby. I know the gaffer. <laughs> yeah, the lighting guy, Ron. We worked together on an episode of. You're like what? We worked on an episode of Alice together. Yeah. It's like something, it's some crusty <laughs> thing in the eighties. I remember Flashpoint. Uh, that was Jen, with Jenna Jenna Jameson. Yeah, yeah. So now we're up to two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Okay, two hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Now, by the way, that said, without exaggerating, most of the porn that I jerk off to that's got uh, a theme of like uh, not a theme, uh, um, like a reality style thing like that. I bet the budget is. Three grand. <laughs> My bet. Really? Five tops. At five. most. Five. I get the ones. Where I the, would say I've I get with the ones where the girls are like, you know, they're there for like four to eight hundred dollars. It's their <laughs> first time. It's their fifteenth time. I probably they're not go, doing well. <laughs> yeah, my budget's probably the porn I jerk off to because I like good lighting. Seven to ten thousand. Operation Desert Stormy. Um, Stormy Daniels. Yeah, who was hot man in her day. Now you're getting Ron Jeremy, man. That's beefing up your budget. The guy's yeah. a fucking real diva. What's the budget up to now? Now we're at two fifty still. Two hundred fifty thousand. Okay. Quarter of a mill. Quarter of a million dollars. Oh, now we're at half a mill. Now here's the now here's the Oh me, no, wait, just a little can you go bit back more. can you go back to number five for a second? 
By the way, this is great that this is our job. Oh, no, this one is fine. Yeah. to look up yeah. porn budgets. No, not five. I'm sorry. Go the other way. To the, to the f- I love that every time you, that Lou uh, tries to change the now, page, just, it just keeps popping up where they're like, hey, huh? No, no, go seven. Go, go back. Number yeah, seven? seven. Seven, yeah. Number seven on the list, Operation Desert Stormy. Now, we'll go, back, big go, back, go back one before that. Go back to uh, eight. Flashpoint? Yeah. What were we talking, Flashpoint? Well, man, uh, uh, you know what they're going? They're going, uh, yeah, we must have missed this one. Yeah, we missed this one only, so maybe it's nine. Female here's what's, here's, Now, here's what's interesting. 220000 for Flashpoint. 1998. Now, pu- you're putting a lot of money into these things, but in 1998, for sure, people who were in the porn were going to go out and buy a video. Yes, because that was the only way you could get it. Um, you know, maybe ninety-eight, maybe so, DVD, but but probably even a video at absolutely. that point. So you're putting out that money, and you're going to sell your your hopes. You're going to sell like thousands and thousands of them. Yeah, you're looking. I mean, I, th- I it'll be say, it'll be in porn houses. It'll be in those you know the 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 CD yes. theaters and downtowns and yeah. China towns and shit. Um, but now you jump ahead. So go. Let's go to eight again. That's nine. That's the ninth one. That's two hundred twenty thousand. Two hundred fifty thousand in two thousand six. That's oh, that's now, a waste of money. Well, two thousand six. I think you're still downloading porn, but you might. No, you're getting it free. You're going off Shazam. You're going off. Yeah, Kazaa. Kaza. Yeah. Kaza. That was the thing. I yeah, Kazaa. Yeah, you had to wait forever. Yeah, but you leave the house, come back with a boner, and then I assume this list is going to keep moving up to a point where it's like <laughs> the dates. The dates are going to move up, and the prices are going to move up. I, I disagree. Don't... I think the dates are going to move back. Price is going to. Go up. Okay. Well, I know for sure that the next. Uh, where, where are we at? Let's go We're to seven. Well, let's go to seven. Budget is two hundred fifty thousand. Oh, oh seven. A year later. So they didn't feel the hit there. Desert they, Storm was they, in oh seven. They still felt it was worth it. They still felt it was worth it to to spend that much money in twenty thousand. Go to uh, six. Twenty oh seven. Oh same, seven again. Same year. Upload. Three hundred and fifty thousand. Starring uh AVN Award winner. I mean Who was in this? It was a Titanic oh, in two thousand eight. Oh, AVN Kylie Award. Ireland. It won eight awards, which I don't know again what that's worth in selling. It's, it's weird it's because two, it's now it's two DVDs, two hundred and eighty five minutes. Okay, now well, it's, it's like got an X Files uh type story, it says. Big budget porn. Uh, it was a hit. It says, "Geez, all right, five again." I, we're going I, through the list. I'd like to know the return on. We're going things. on askmen.com for the most expensive porns. Half a million dollars, but now O2. we've moved back. I'm telling you, it's going to go. It's going to find. You might itself, be right. It's I'll be honest find with you. Late nineties. We were gambling on this, dude. I'd start getting worried now because I thought I was definitely. I, I was like, Dan's dumb, and no. this is wrong. I'm telling you right now, the sweet spot for high budget porn was late nineties when there was a return. You have to look at the business sense. Okay, so back to 2002 for half a million. Pirates, a million dollars. Two million, two thousand five. Now that may have been the confusion of the times. The times were changing in two thousand five. Yeah, the internet's rapidly changing. Porn industry is, is finding its new legs in different places. Mother f. Okay, all right. All right. So we're up to a million. Number third on the list. Third most expensive porn of all time. Uninhibited, ninety five, one point two million dollars. Oh well. It was the work of the late adult video news Hall of Famer, Buck Adams. Buck Adams. If your name's Buck Adams and you don't work in porn. Okay. Oh, interesting. So you're right. Went back to 1995. Yeah, I'm telling you. So, okay. Number two on the list. It makes more sense. Number two, Pirates 2. Eight million million dollar budget. Wow. Holy shit. Wow. I want to jerk off to it just because it's so luxurious. No year on that, huh? It's the caviar of porn. I mean, we know it's... It's got to be 2,000. Yeah, what? Why are they not giving numbers? That's stupid. We'll All find right. out. We'll find out when that was made. What's that? 2008. That's the Obama wow. administration. If you get that close. Wow, man. That's pretty crazy. $8 million. I wouldn't have expected it to be this. Now let's go to number one, which obviously, number one, most expensive porn of all time. Highest budget on a porn. You think it's going to be a big jump? Seventeen. Point five million dollars, and the movie Caligula. Oh, well, that doesn't count. Seventy nine. God damn it! That was a real movie. I can't count that. I can't count it either. 
I never jerked off to Caligula, and it's been around my entire life. That's a bummer. 1979, the year the 49ers drafted Joe Montana. That was a... Uh, $17.8 million. Dollars. It was pornographic, but it was it was meant to be believed to be a stupid art picture. Yeah, and, and it was Hollywood porn. It's it was horrific, yeah. by the way. It's one of the most unwatchable things. That and 100 Years of Sodom are the two worst, like, Could I'll we, watch for the filth, and it's terrible. What we need to do is we're going to add this to the list of uh, public viewings for fans of the bonfire. Caligula? We'll do a Caligula screening where you and I make fun of it. Fair enough. I, I, we got to stop plan. We have to stop adding the list and start making a plan. Well, we'll start doing it at the stand. We, Let's I mean, start right now. Let's go take a little break and we'll come back and we'll take this thing to the fucking bridge. Yeah, you listen to the bonfire. Coffee Central Radio, Sirius XM 95. We'll be right back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. And now back to the bonfire with Big J Okerson and Dan Soder. Ah, <laughs> oh. uh, lip syncing mystical and trying to do it the way he fast raps is so much fun. Mystical! It's the bonfire. We are back. Big J. Okerson, Dan Soder. It's a No Limit Wednesday. New episode, not a live episode. Come we, re- we recorded. Radio. We just broke down the top budgets, budgeted porn of all time. So we're trying to move from pornography to legit. Legit acting, the way Soder did. <laughs> yeah. I went from fucking fingering my butthole at truck stops on new porn. <laughs> remember, I did a pretty good scene with Buck Adams. Uh, I remember up. being directed by Buck Adams. He, uh, I came, and then he said, uh, we needed a different shot. I said, I can go again, Buck. <laughs> and then, cause ten years later, I'm like, it's my fucking dick. Yeah. It's my, I'll fuck when I want to fuck. I met Buck Adams when I was washing dishes at a nightclub, <laughs> and he got me sucked off by a girl on roller skates. <laughs> She was amazing in that movie. Heather Graham. My lord. I'd say Boogie Nights. I'd say it. it's, it's like tied for my favorite movie of all time. It's a great movie. And we're talking about uh, masturbating to something from a legit movie, not a porn. Yeah. Her just simply dropping that dress. Yep. Are we going to fuck now? I, I, that was, I mean, I've... Knocked it out to that scene a gazillion times. Guess who I saw three days ago on 13th and 4th? Heather Graham. Damn right. No shit. She looked great. Did she? she Turn the corner, I was like, that was... I almost screamed out Roller Girl, but then I was like, you fucking asshole, don't do Not that. memorably hot from Twin Peaks to me, and I was a big fan of that show. Uh, yeah, I think she It was, was a real turn. Like, doing that character was a pretty big turn. Austin Powers, Spy Who Shagged Me. Yeah. She was smoking she was that. That was... That. That was after Twin Peaks and Boogie Nights. Yeah, after Boogie Nights. Yeah. Um, we're talking legitimate acting because, I mean, we're both legitimate actors now. <laughs> are we? I don't know. I don't think we are. I, yeah, question maybe. for you, and this is uh, no disrespect to anybody, because there are actors that you... It might almost be like comedy, where there's like an X factor involved that makes them like magnetic. Like you want to watch them. Yeah. You like what they do. They they find some emotional place to go and do something or whatever. Yeah. The basic act of acting I don't find difficult. Well, you gotta understand you're conditioned different. You go on stage every night and hold a conversation just you. So I think there's a thing, and I've talked to people about this, as comics, we are so used to getting the shit kicked out of us by silence and all that thing of like us talking and not having any reciprocation. Sure. I think lends us to be a little bit, just in the initial part, a little bit better at acting because you can just be like, fuck it, I'm used to saying dumb shit and getting no reaction. But I mean, I had my lines. Uh, again, I had to memorize one like one now, par- a paragraph three. We should fill people in. Sure. The reason we're doing a recorded episode today is uh, I am and you are. Uh, we're both on this show, a new Showtime show called Billions yeah. that was created by our friend Brian Koppelman and David Levine, our friends. And uh, so we've been that's why we've been doing recorded episodes is because we've being been on set, yeah. being on set and filming uh, the show. Uh, I believe it premieres January on Showtime. So make sure you watch it. Paul Giamatti. It's going to be a badass show for Damian sure. Damian Lewis. It's a drama. However, uh, our friend, you know, we got cast to be kind of, um, you know, I play an asshole banker and you play a weed dealer. So yeah. it's pretty much <laughs> who we were going to be if comedy never happened. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, it is, I find it interesting because it is very, you know what I've noticed on set? Actors talk about acting the way comics talk about comedy. They know they have different theaters they've worked at, kind of like the way we talk about clubs on the road. Um, 
It's but they're very similar. I just think it's interesting. Like uh, you hear a lot of the acting I've done has been with like. You've done some big shit, Z Rock. Yes, but but still, for the most part, novice level actors. Does that make sense? Yeah. When I was on Z Rock, the band that the show was about never acted before. But you were with people. I, sure, the people people were there to have been part of that, and, and there was some actors that popped on the show that were something else, you know. Yeah. But I'm talking about a level of like, you know, Daniel Day Lewis is like living in a log cabin for a month to play Lincoln before the show before the movie starts, and you got to call him. Mr. President, uh, when they you know, cut, I found on this set, and I was with the guy Noah Emmerich, which was awesome. That's yeah. Truman Show's best friend. Yeah, I thought that was uh, really cool. Um, uh, Damian Lewis is in the scene. Casey both- Size Masco, pretty yeah. neat. Um, Danny Mastro and Giorgio. I'm, I hope I'm saying his name right, but uh, these guys have been in like a thousand things I've seen. And um, but when it came down to, it, I, had a, I had a paragraph. Uh, you know, wait, 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 and then one more line. Yeah, and um, I'm just like I don't know. It's like I mean, like. Uh, for the, the first, right before we did the first take, yeah, I had a little that little rumble of just kind of like, man, these guys are, every, you know, you know what actually what, what did me good? I got to watch a scene done before. That's great. I did my scene. Yeah, because then you watching get... it happening and watching a guy like Damian Lewis, you know, Homeland. The like, guy's awesome. Like, Emmy like, Award winner. A, a, Emmy Not Award. only that, but like a th- like go watch his Hamlet. I know it's yeah. a weird thing to say, but he did a version of Hamlet that you can see. Where you're like, oh, this guy's fucking awesome, right? But, but and again, that's almost my point. Yeah, that's and then look, there's all the jokes. Ari Shafir's got great jokes. I think uh, Neil Brennan's got great jokes about the, how easy acting is. Yeah, like joking about it. And I know there is a skill level to it being like to being great at it. But I do just find still like you know he was doing a line. He's like, oh man, someone's trying to take me down, and I don't uh, know if I am. Fu- I'm fucking it up, fucking it up. I'll take it again. Oh, man, the guy's trying to take me. It's like, it's almost yeah. how you would joke about doing it. I've they're seen... doing it. And, 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 it's just, and it made me very comfortable. I'm like, oh, I just got to go. Like, if I fuck up, I'll just be like, ah, do it again. You Fuck know why? Up. Again, this comes back to the comedy thing. When you're on stage, you don't get a redo. Yeah. You got to fucking roll with it or else it's. And I think a lot of those, I mean, that's the thing about acting that you pull back and you're like, oh, we can do it again if I fuck up. Whereas mm-hmm. a show, a set. At a comedy club, you fuck that joke up, that joke is fucked, and you got to move forward or do damage control. That's probably why they uh, like the jolt of theater a lot yes, of actors. Yes, absolutely. It has to be because, just like you said, that is the thing, and and you know when the pressure is different, when like there are comedy one-shots. Yeah. You know what I mean? There's yeah. like the... You're auditioning for a Montreal festival. I mean, what I just whatever. did. Uh, yes, exactly. I just I just screen tested for Saturday Night Live. SNL, yeah. Didn't get it, but you're up there on stage in front of Lauren Michaels at 8H. Get one fucking shot. You're like the level of importance of this five minutes is so different than the fifteen you did last night. Ex- so that's exactly what happened last week. So this would be two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. Two weeks ago when I screen tested for Lauren Michaels, go on stage, do five minutes. The next night, the very next night, I was at an open mic in Austin, Texas, doing five minutes. And you're like, oh, this is fucking, you know what I mean? Like the and level. You dominate in there, right? But there, you go, you're, you're like, there it's fun. There it's yeah. like you're letting loose. Whereas like on stage at home base at the fucking 8H in NBC where they filmed SNL. And you're like, they're like, do your thing. And you're like, this is five minutes and I can't fuck up. At all. So I think there is a different level of pressure where you're in front of a camera and you're like, can I say that again? And they're like, yeah, you get one. Yeah, do it again. And you're like, yeah, all right. I fucking got it. But I think that's why, as comics, we're wired different because we're kind of used to that. When you do a Montreal, when you do a, a late night, when you did Fallon, when you walk out and they're like, here's your set. You're like, yeah, let's do it, though. Yeah. But there is still a thing of like, yeah, let's do it. But you also know, as a comic, you're like, I know where this is. And I can also, if I fuck up, I know how to get out of this pretty easy. Yeah, that's the big thing too. Is like recovery, recovery for a comedian. I don't know if that's a skill that's uh, given enough, like credence. You know, like, like, yeah. like in comedy, it really is something like recovery. To can, pull, to pull you out have of three a things that just in the beginning go. I did not connect with them right. Nope. Being, able, I, I, I think I pride myself on being pretty good at that thing. I would say. I think my. So I think I can say my first three things can get like weird reactions, and I. It does not stress me out. I'm always very. I'm. I'm one of the people where I would say if if I if the first three things don't connect, I get a little wobbly, and I better hope the fourth thing connects. You, 
I, I have a list of people who are amazing at. Well, Nate, let me let me say there's a difference. Uh, there's a difference on it in. If I have three things that go haywire, there's there's a difference between somebody who accepts and understands bombing. Yes. Now there's a lot of like that shit, some of that alt scene of like you know the khaki pants, uh, ironic shirt comedy. Yeah, that they think they've achieved something because they go, oh, I could sit there and just buy. I don't care. The crowd hates me. I'll just do my 15 minutes and and blah blah. I'm talking about not having the first three minutes go good and still believing in my head like I'll get these people like cheering. Soon. I would almost say I would almost say and some not of my, kissing their ass like actually going at it. I would definitely say some of my favorite sets I've ever had in my life where the first two jokes don't work and then you somehow connect with them and then you fucking by the end you're murdering yeah. and you're like and by the way those are the sets that the person after you're like you're gonna have a tough time not because of my jokes or because of what I was saying but because of the connection I had with the audience. Yeah. They're not going to look at you as legitimate as they looked at me. Yeah, they think like you've you've shown them like your skill. You you opened up your utility belt. Yes, you know what I mean. And Show I will them, say, like, uh, I can fix a lot of things. And you got somebody else who goes up there and just goes right away like, ah, I took the subway here, and you're like, oh, now we don't like you as much already. And you know what? I would say you're one of those guys. That's why you're so difficult to follow in the clubs is because you connect to the audience in a way where you go up there and I'm doing like a bit about quitting smoking. And I'm like, ah, yeah, Jay was just up here. You know, like, they're like, yeah, you're not connecting with us. You're just doing your bits. And you're like, yeah, I know, motherfucker. Like, all right. Just let me. But you get a couple, then you connect, and you're like, okay, we're okay. So am I not doing warm-up for your special? No, you're out. You're doing your own. You know what? To. Do your own special. I'd love to. <laughs> Go. Oh, that'd be so fucking... I'm just like 15 minutes in, like, hey, guys, can we shut the cameras down? <laughs> uh, <laughs> look at this fucking fat prick sitting over oh, here. Just God. going right at, at all of them. <laughs> oh, look at you, lady. You look like you... <laughs> oh, anyway, you guys have been great. Hey, yeah. stick around, man. There's another guy coming out. Yeah, like, no, that was your special. <laughs> what? That was my whole hour? <laughs> Uh, well, there dude, we this was a fun episode. This was a lot of fun. The time flew, and we just we looked at so much puss, so much puss. That turkey meat puss, a pretty <laughs> also a pretty Spears. By me saying like she's my gauge. Now they'll show. I think on that nipslip dot com uh, actually there's a, a one of the newer posts is like Britney Spears walking out of a so and so. Like you could see her nips through her shirt or something, and it's like you see her and you're like. Man, this chick really just is a 40-something-year-old mom. Just a broad. And she's but not also, 40. She's in her 30s. But, I mean, she's like, she just looks, like, awful. Like, she's like, and, you know, it's funny. It's, it's, it's actually unnecessarily mean. She doesn't look awful. No. She just looks like you can't believe that she was America's sex symbol at one yes, point. Yes, that's exactly what it is. And, listen, we looked at Dong, too. We looked at Brett Favre's tiny wiener. In, those, in fairness, man, we took in a lot of Dong. A lot of Dong. We're going to be back live Monday, 6 to 8 p.m. Eastern. Sirius XM Comedy Central Radio 95. But you guys, right out of the gates, call in. Give us some celebrity puss we didn't see. Show us a good one. Come up with that. That's your homework for the weekend. Ah, uh, it's the bonfire. We'll catch you guys Monday.